Hey everybody, so I noticed that the volume wasn't quite as good as when I do it like this, so whatever, this is how I'm going to do it. Alright, so continue on here. So this animal sanctuary could have a centralized, I believe a home base, if I remember correctly. Centralized, um, yeah, home base, um, as well as other small bases where an animal could <clears throat> uh, find or receive the proper care and food, dash water, dash shelter, etc. to give um, the, the best life we can. So, uh, and again, we're going to be utilizing alternative clean energy generators. You know, I just talked about the wind, water, uh, geothermal and, uh, hemp solar panels. <clears throat> uh, the traditional farming will be utilized. Uh, well, I mean, we could, yeah, it could all be done with vertical farm growing systems, but, um, I don't know. I, I kind of like the idea of using both. Um, then also using, you know, utilizing greenhouses, which is kind of the traditional, but it, it's a little different. So anyways, all right. And then we got the, the vet clinic, the holistic slash affordable care. <clears throat> so this information, uh, so th this is the statistic I was talking about. So 40 42%, this is from Forbes too, 42% uh, of pet owners can't uh, cover a surprise vet bill amid inflation. <clears throat> All right, so moving on here. Um, so again, I need to go into more information as regards to what a vet clinic is going to look like, as well as holistic healing. And in the following uh, words, I, you will see more of what I found and thus am going to be sharing with you guys in regards to holistic healing and acupuncture and stuff like that. So all right, moving on here. Uh, the home base, uh, so home base dash sub bases. <clears throat> Uh, they'd provide shelter, uh, could also manipulate um, environment to suit the needs of certain species. So we could also like, you know, literally, you know, if we, you know, with the resources and the availability is there, we could relocate certain species that are endangered um, to areas that uh, where these sanctuaries are. And we could help, you know, cultivate the climates or the area of the land or develop our, you know, the, the climate necessary as well as we can to make it as suitable for their best life as possible. I'm uh, sorry, moving on here. Um, the most, in, now, of course, this is why these need to be kind of sanctuaries because, you know, life forms can be invasive to other life forms. So it, it, by, by creating a, a sanctuary of protection or, you know, uh, a secured area, you would uh, prevent um, these invasive species from hurting other life forms and upsetting the, the balance of that local ecosystem, which is a huge issue. I know, I think it was the rabbits in Australia that wreaked havoc on um, just the other wildlife in Australia because there was no... Um, there was no, I think, natural predator for the rabbits, so they just populated crazy, and they started eating a tons of vegetation that other life forms, other animals, were dependent on, and so they actually ended up killing off a lot of the uh, the native species in Australia because of the introduction of rabbits. I could be mistaken, but if my memory serves me correctly, that's something like that has happened. Sorry, right, moving on here. Um, so yeah, the home bases and the sub bases. Um, da -da 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 -da. Then we're also gonna need. Okay, I'll go into the next one. I love you guys. Hope you take care. Thanks. Bye.